Hello, it's me. I've thought about us for a long, long time. Hello, happy 1111 with Jenna. It is Thursday, 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 which is usually Corona Roki International Limited. See, I have the cup. I even have hold the wire. Hold the wire. Whoops. Ah, I can't reach it. I have Corona Roki International masks and they are still available. They have not sold out. But you could have your own. Designed and hand lettered by Dave Love himself. Jump on, hang out, do Corona Roki. So next week for sure. This week, lots going on. And last night, it was the wackiest thing. Hi, William. Last night, that's Grace, by the way. I just like this photo over, so I thought I'd put it up. <laughs> Look how pretty she is. That's the day she, that Debbie, that's at Outback, and that's the day that Debbie gave her that beautiful purse that she has in her, this fancy, styly purse from Outback in the Temple of being in love in Berkeley. I miss, 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 miss. Mwah. Um, so much to, yeah. Oh, so last night when I tried to get online, there was this whole new thing. Like you have to do this to get on to have Facebook Live and, oh, thank you. Oh yeah, she's smoking hot, Gracie. Hi, Gracie. She's like, please don't put that picture of me up, probably. I don't like that. She's on. The, she's holding up her... Thank you, Debbie, for the beautiful purse, because Debbie gifted her that beautiful bag for... Because Debbie's just Debbie. Debbie Jacobs. Anyway. I went through all this stuff last night. I, I studied it. Okay, I'm, I'm going to do it tomorrow. I decided to go outside today, so I used my iPad instead, so I was outside. I came on tonight already. It wasn't there. I tried to put in, it, it's just not there. It's just not there. It, it's like, oh, thank you. It's, um, it's, uh, what's your name? Hold on, I'll find out. I'm not going to take it off. It's a Leslie Ever Evers, just like this one that you liked, Lynette. These are both Leslie Evers dresses. Designed and made in Oakland, California. Yes, she is. So after all that last night, it totally disappeared. And now I'm here, and you're here, and we are not. It is a Corona Roki International show, which is why I had to wear a dress. I'm trying to pick up my chair. I know, she does really fun stuff. And she has a trunk sale once a year that's outstanding. And Grace and I, we scored at the trunk sale last year. Yeah, I think. Something like that. Anyway, so thank you. Yes, Lynette, you need to come check out the clothes that I'm selling because I think you might like some of them. I really do. We need to meet up anyway. I really think so. So tonight is Corona Roki. I should have, let me just, and this is one that I, this is a bootleg. This is total bootleg. Corona Roki International Limited. See, it doesn't even fit right. See, it's all crooked. The real deal, made in Austin, Texas, is right here. 
See how much better the fit? Just It just fits better. So much better. Corona Roki International Limited 11 11 with Jenna. Happens every Thursday except we're on sabbatical. Till next week. But in addition to what's happening tonight, I have a guest. I may have two guests, but for sure one guest. And she will be here in a moment. Not Grace. Although, Grace, you should come on. We did Grace's hair today. We did Salon Day. Spa Salon Day. I did a facial. She, we did her hair, and we had fun. And then we cruised around town. We delivered pie. We, I bought a, a blueberry pie yesterday. I know I should have made it, but I didn't. just haven't been in the baking mood because it's hot but I will. So I bought a beautiful blueberry pie and we sliced it up and delivered it to people. It was really fun. We saw people, well, come to my house and you'll be in less trouble because I'm selling clothes, some shoes, lots of jewelry, and suitcases. I have a lot of baggage. I do. I have a lot of baggage and I'm getting rid of some of it. Yeah. Oh, you'd be in so much trouble at the, the actual sale because Leslie walks around at the sale and she's like, oh my God, that looks so cute on you. And you're like, I know, right? And instead of it being $600, it's, you know, well, not six. Yeah. Five. Then it's like 80. So you're like, well, it's normally 50. Baking is for autumn. See, so yeah, yeah, I guess. But starting Monday, I'm going on a um, transformational cleanse with my dear friend Adam, raw food chef Adam Graham. And I'm looking forward. We're going to have fun. There's people from all over the world. And a few of us met on a Zoom meeting today. And we're like, oh, this is going to be so much fun. Some of the people that I've been in Jamaica with are joining us. So that's going to be really fun. So the students that we had, oh, her nail, oh, that's right. We'd had our nails done. Dr. Laura, you and Dr. Laura and I went and had our nails done that day. So Grace has got like, I think that was New Year's Eve. I'm pretty sure. So baking is for autumn. Well, maybe we could bake together, Lynette. That would be fun. You know, we'll, we'll just put on our gloves. Oh, <gasps> We'll put on our gloves and our masks and our aprons and do some baking. And then I'll drive around and gift whatever we bake. So what's usually happening tonight, Corona Roki International Limited is not. But now, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to, what is this? Yes, but on my live stream. See ya. Gotta go. People, don't they know? Don't they know what's happening? Doo -doo. Ooh, ooh. What's a great idea? The baking? Hi. Hi. <laughs> I like that turquoise ring. Oh, it's a pretty one. Uh, a young man from in Mexico made it. Beautiful. It's a pretty one. Ladies and gentlemen, can you go? Yeah. No, 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 the other way. Nope. Oh. That way. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Let me see. What to pop it? Up. Oh, oh, use a, a dish towel or something. Yeah, yeah. There's something here. What can I use? A pillow. Let's see. This will, I think this is gonna. A candle with a rubber band. <laughs> Let's see. Is that it's white 
Is that a, is that a mannequin over there? Or is that a piece of art behind you to your... My Aunt Pat. <gasps> Fabulous. That is, that is Adam. Wow. Aunt Pat. And then we have Eve over on the other side. For real? Yeah, for real. This is... They, um, have, they have an Adam and Eve in their living room. There's Eve. Can you see her? No, you'll have to re redo your. Well, you have to see this now. Oh my goodness! Did they There's... fit? Do they fit together? Well, I've never tried that. <laughs> you guys, Lynette is here tonight. <laughs> oh wow! You have Adam and Eve in your living room. Yeah, my aunt Pat did it very heavy. Not very many people can say that. No, no, probably uh, nobody that I know of would have, would have my Aunt Pat's Adam and Eve besides me. Who, who's, who is your Aunt Pat? So, so there's a lot of art happening in the world of Lynette. Yeah, my Aunt Pat um, majored in art, and she was an art, art professor um, in California. And don't ask me which which university, but one of the universities there. And she it had her own, well, she's retired now, but she had her own stained glass business. Really? And did a lot of churches. Wow. And and that's Adam and Eve back there. Like, right there. Yes, yeah, one of her many, I mean, she's very, been very prolific. And, and do you have other pieces of her art in your home? Oh yeah, a lot, a lot of beautiful work. Wow. And not only has she done the sculptures, but she's done paintings, um, a lot of oils. She did, of course, the stained glass. Um, she's made furniture. Was she, she one of your bigger inspirations in what you do? Inspiration for me, yeah. I bet. I, actually, we have art on both sides of my, my mother's and my father's side. I need more of you. Can you come closer to the camera? Okay. Don't we need more Lynette? More Lynette. More, more, more. Oh no, I can get closer than that. Well, I mean, I can get closer. So, Melanie's here. Hi, Melanie. Thank you. Julie's here. William's here. You're I'm so ready. beautiful. Isn't she beautiful? We're ready for your close up. Yeah. Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close up. <laughs> so, you had the day off today? I did. What did you do? Um, I did lawn, and this sounds really boring, but it's what I did. I did sheets, and, um... You did sheets? The, yeah, I, I did the laundry. Uh-huh. Made the beds, and, um, just cleaned house a lot today. That's, Doesn't it's, that it's, feel good? It feels good. That's what I felt. Then tomorrow is my day off that I don't have to worry about that stuff. So. Cool. What, do you, what will you do tomorrow? Tomorrow, I'm going to go for a walk with my friend, Mark. Oh, Mark. And Hi, Mark. Yeah, Mark. Not Mark DeRay. Oh, no? Okay. Different um, Mark. I, I actually have several Mark guys in my life. So, yeah. But Mark is my one Mark who is kind of my significant other Mark. Oh, um, that, Mark. that Mark. Have I met, did I meet him at the mansion? Yes. Okay. You did. You did meet him there. I remember Mark. Yeah. He's handsome. Yes, he's my man. He's my boy. My well, not my boy. He's my man. He's <laughs> not. But do you live in your in the the home you grew up in? Do I? Is what? the is the house you are in right now? Is that where you grew up? No, no, I did not grow up here. Okay. Um, I grew up in actually Howell, Michigan. Oh, okay. So that's where I grew up, and I consider Howell kind of my hometown. Mm -hmm. um, well, now, now Kalamazoo feels more my hometown, but Howell was um, the place where I went to school and graduated high school. So it's kind of like, I think sometimes you feel like that is your hometown. Yeah. We grew up uh, from the time I was in the sixth grade, so the time I was 12, up until when I graduated high school. 
you grew up in Howell. Mm hmm Yep. And then Love, Kalamazoo Love. was... Kalamazoo came later on, and then um, I went to school here in, in Kalamazoo at Western. And then I went, actually, after that to Kendall. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yep. Yeah, I was planning on being a working artist, uh, but I ended up later realizing that maybe it's not a great way to make a living necessarily. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, there are some people that really are... are that they do, you know, they really can. Um, but it wasn't probably so much for me. So, but I'm glad that I did what I did. I went to school at Kendall and I went in for illustration and then took interior design as well. Um, and after that, I got kind of into the furniture world. Wow. Into the 80s, that's when I, it was in the 80s that I got into working in in furniture. So you've and been I doing furniture a long time. Oh yeah, since 83. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. It's been a while. And I like it. In different furniture stores? Well... Manufacturers? Yeah, I've, I've worked with almost every kind of furniture there is and at this point. Um, started out with a, a place called Vans, which was not Art Van. Okay. And it, the owned place um, and got to really know kind of more the middle lines of furniture up until and then we went into some of the upper levels and then I worked at a place down downtown Kalamazoo for 23 years that I do did a lot of design work I mean I did do a lot of house calls and design work hi kitty 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 that's Romeo hi Romeo Romeo, Romeo. He's my Swedish cat. You have three or seven? What is it? Three? No, not seven. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. You're not the crazy, craziest cat lady yet. <laughs> that might happen eventually, but not Three now. seems I'm... to be about when I meet people that have cats. Uh -huh. They, I think they, they seem to have three many times. Is that so? Or, or I just know really crazy cat people. Yeah, well, you know, I'm one of them. Thinking about having Joseph, well, actually more than thinking, I think my, the breeder that I got her from just lost Josephine's mother. So um, Josephine's mother just got sick and, and, um, and she passed away. So we're talking about having her bred. Her um, Maine Coon, Josephine Maine Coon. But she died. Wait, I'm confused. Mother. Josephine's my baby. Josephine. Oh, you want to breed Josephine. Uh-huh. The breeder is talking about having her bred with one of her males that is not, not related to her at all. Not so. like her brother or anything like that. No brothers. None of that incestuous stuff with my Josephine. No. <laughs> <laughs> She's too proper for that. You're not, you're not, oh, I won't, no, I'm not going to even, uh, I yeah. won't say what I was going to say. Wash masses with my cat. <laughs> so, yep. what's the name of the clo the furniture store you work for now? Called Vandenberg Furniture. It's in Skullcraft, Michigan. Um, it's been a crazy year since the COVID. It has been unbelievable. This has been a record-breaking year, and not just where we are, but every every place just about in furniture. Well, I think people are like, well, honey, let's redo the living room, or huh, let's redo, I don't know. I, I don't know. I. Well, nobody's going on vacations. You know, people, I mean, they've canceled a lot of things, so. So they can paint and redo and buy a new couch. Yeah, they're working on the homes, and that's what's going on. School crap. So, what's your commute like? It's only ten minutes, not even ten minutes away from where I live. Nice. So it's perfect. Yeah, for me, it's been really, really fantastic for me. So, can we skip ahead to something? Sure. You've been on Corona Roki a number of times. You're one of the regs, the usuals, the ones that I depend on. 
tell me your experience like from the first time up until one of the you know the later times i mean it's been it's been a fun evolving go oh, there they go there's <laughs> all nine of them they're, de <laughs> they're definitely wild tonight i don't you know what's <laughs> it's like must be a full moon or something i think was that last night or is it tonight whatever it is it's affecting them this evening because they're all over the board <laughs> how fun so it's been a fun experience don't you think oh uh, to go to corona to Oki. i love it isn't it fun a corona Oki. yes and it's it's got no it's it's no bacteria corona Oki. no bacteria corona Oki. yeah i mean it's virtual yeah, it's pretty fun, huh? I think it's very fun. And you've got fantastic guests. I mean, I, I'm honored to be involved in your Corona Oki and, and get to know some of, or be able to watch some of your guests. You know a lot of gifted people. And you are one of them. Sometimes oh, well. she plays piano and sometimes she just comes on and makes it rain. Remember that? Oh my goodness gracious, I still refer to that. Remember that night when Lynette made the, the, the skies part and it just, the water just tumbled, tumbled, tumbled. You were like, hey, we need rain really bad. We're going to sing for the rain tonight. And like 20 minutes later, it was just dumping. And I'm like, I hope my ceiling can handle this rain, please, please. Yeah. That was the night Catherine and I sang together. Mm -hmm. and Honestly, we did it the other night again. Well, we, we had a rain prayer that night. And it did again. It rained again. So, it's, but I, I think it has to be when I'm with Catherine. Don't or, sing with her on Saturday around 6 p.m., please. Okay. I promise I won't. No rain prayer on Saturday at 6 p.m. because Tom and I are doing a concert that night. And I'd really rather not have it be canceled because of the rain. No rain prayer or not. That, on so that night. maybe at you know it's it's by nine o'clock after the sun sets, then you can sing away and make a rainstorm happen. But I oh, wish you could come to the gig. I do too. Well, if if there's any way I can get out early of work, I I could go if I could get out. What if what works? What what's a good night for you if we were to do it again? To do a show? Yeah. Oh, Sunday. Sundays, okay. Sunday's much better because if I do work, I get out earlier. And it's it would be easier for me to get out earlier, too, um, on a Sunday. So, yeah, that would work really well. But that, I wonder if that would work for you. But you work on Sundays? Sometimes I do, but not every week. I do every pretty much every Saturday, most every Saturday. But a Sunday. As long we, we usually go by the rain schedule. So as long as you're not singing and the weather person says that there is no rain, then, then we usually go with that. That would be nuts. I'm still intrigued by Adam and Eve. Do you know what year she created them? Try to. Oh, I've got my. See, I've got, I'm right, right next to the piano. Oh, good. You could say. I'd love for you to sing a song for us. Well, I'm not sure if I pra I didn't practice anything, but um, I think she did those probably in the 60s. Wow. Or if this if it wasn't in the 60s, it would have been in the late 50s probably. Fabulous. Yeah. And they do oh. look quite heavy, and they've withstood the the, the test of time. <laughs> they've been around a while. Adam and Eve are in Lynette's living room. This is your living room. <laughs> Yeah, I'm in the living room right now. Nobody ever really goes into this living room other than if I do Corona Oki. <laughs> this is it. Yeah, this is like the, the Corona Oki room. And now I've got a piano. And uh, I, there's actually a grand piano. I thought here. that was a grand piano. Is that a leopard? Like, what's on top of that? Some type of a fabric? Cover. That's a leopard piano cover. And the picture's a family. Like, here's a picture of my, um, the picture, can you see that? I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can, uh, oh, uh, 
There you go. Are those your parents? That's you with your mom and dad at Christmas? Yeah, when it was probably 19, 50, 55, 56, maybe. Wow. Is what I guess. Somewhere in that time frame. This is my dad and my mom. Oh. Beautiful. Wow. How is your mom? She's doing okay. She's doing all right. Good. It's hanging in. We're hanging out in and doing okay. So does she, during the day when you're at work, she's just kind of chills? She's definitely kind of chilled. She likes to watch television. That's what she does. And can't say that she really, um, you know, she seems content. She's happy. Good. So, and she's, um... I've been making asparagus every night because I found that's the one thing she really likes to eat. <laughs> wow, great. So different um, different style, different things, or do you just steam asparagus? Or I just have been cooking it in olive oil mm-hmm. and put a little bit of onion in there and seasoning, and then I've been making a, a little side dish of shiitake mushrooms with garlic. Yeah. Onions, so that's what I've made the last couple nights. She seems to like it. I figure anything she'll eat, if she'll do it, because I can make dinners and dinners, and she won't. She says, "Oh, that's too much. I'm not hungry." So, and then, well, it's not that she's not eating, because she'll she'll live on insure. Mm-hmm. But it has something besides that. Yeah. Does she um, does she a game show person? I don't think so. No. no but I'll, well, I will get, I take that back. She has been enjoying watching Vanna White. Oh, yeah. Grace, Grace, we watch, we watch The Wheel. Uh huh. She likes The Wheel. And she, she kind of likes Jeopardy, too. Mm-hmm. My dad absolutely loved Jeopardy. He was actually really good at Jeopardy. Yeah, we do that, that, that whole scene, 7 to 8 p.m. scene. Uh huh. Yeah, so it's fun. But as I've gotten to, it's funny. I was never one to watch television ever, and now I'm getting to know the whole gamut of it. Does she watch movies? Yes, she definitely likes to watch movies, and I want to make sure that she always watches movies that will not upset her. One night we watched something, and um, it gave her a nightmare. So I thought, no, nah, we're never watching anything that's scary. My oh. mom likes to watch these crime shows. Does she? And I walk in, I'm like, what the hell? Or like, you know, like 2020 when, they, when they're trying to solve the crime or the person's been whatever, assaulted, murdered or something. And she's like, and I'm like, dude, what are you doing? She goes, oh, I just love it. I'm like, <laughs> why? Because I'm, I'm traumatized sitting here listening to this. Why? She says, I just love the way they solve the crime. Uh-huh. Actually, 2020 is a fascinating show, I think. Yeah, but it's usually some, and then, you know, two (laughs) weeks later, the husband kidnapped the girlfriend or something, and and I just sit there and go, I gotta, I'm gonna go, like, I'm gonna go on Facebook or something. And my friend Laura is a forensic psychologist, so my mom was always really into, so Laura, you know, we're always like, who are you talking to right now? You know, who, what's the killer like that you're talking to right now? She doesn't really say much, but. Ah, but that is incredible to think. I mean, when you see some of these shows, you realize that there are people that kind of look like they're normal and, and that they're doing these absolutely, uh, and, I mean, unbelievable crimes, yeah. you know, and that they're actually uh, they act like they they didn't do anything wrong. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Scott Peterson. Yeah. You could go on. Do they have any conscience about some of the things that they do? It's just, it is mind-blowing to me. <laughs> so here we are talking about, I don't even know where she is. I don't think she's been on yet. Maybe she took a nap. Wait, your friend who's the forensic sci- scientist? Or? No, my mom. Oh, oh. your mom? Yeah, she's not here. Gracie, are you here? Oh, I just whistled and now Lillian's gonna come. 
Yes, Mom? I, I wanted to show you that I'm working on a song. Oh, we'd love to hear it. Okay, but I, I haven't gotten it yet, <laughs> as usual, but I'm, gonna, I'm not singing it. Are you just... writing it? No. Oh. No, but I, that's the one thing I really would like to try. But no, no, not... A little bit, so thank you. but I don't know it, right? That'd be a great song for you. Here, let's do it. in front of you. Yeah, it is. And what about your other art? I haven't been working on the visual art at all lately. It just seems like I um, haven't I made time. You have to make time and you have to make the space. Mm -hmm. I, I want to do, I think it'd be kind of fun, I want to paint my mailbox. Ooh, and, cool. And, like, bring it, I want to get a new mailbox and paint the one, first of all, I want to paint the base paint, and then I want to 
have my I want to do my cats on one side of it, and then the other side I'm just gonna do like some birds and foliage and that type of thing. So, well, you know what? I'm I have these really ugly mailboxes at this house. I need uh -huh. I need new mailboxes with your painting on them. Well, there you go. Yeah, I think mailboxes are definitely a statement. I think that's a beautiful idea, and I think you could really get a lot. I like everybody here. I bet people here would want your mailbox, your, you to paint their mailboxes. Well, I just think it would be a cool thing, and then you can you can use a, acrylic paint. And so what about yeah. if it's the kind that lifts up and down, up and down, and, and the post person always lifts it up, and they, they couldn't mess it up, could they? Well, yeah, anything could get messed up, but I mean, if you have a metal mailbox, uh -huh. you know, aluminum, um, you can put the primer on and then you do the base paint. I did it already on one mailbox, so I, I've done it before. And you don't have to, you do it with acrylic. Mm -hmm. Acrylic works, I mean, then you seal it at the end, you use a sealer, and it, it lasts for years. It will eventually, you know, eventually the paint will start to peel but it takes years so that's what i want to do i'm excited yeah yeah it'd be a fun project to do and that's actually that's one that one thing that i should do tomorrow is get the mailbox get the mailbox i've got to get the mailbox now i'm gonna look for new mailboxes i just bought two two ceiling fans for up in my attic so i might as well buy up two mailboxes there you go. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I want to get a look box like the other one I had because, um, because sometimes you get large things coming in the mail. You know, I don't even get mail. <laughs> you don't? <laughs> no. What? My mail is still, like, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I've been, I go back to California and I'm in California, so I, I like to have, you know, I'm in Michigan or I'm in California. I like my mail goes to California. Your mail's going to California? Yeah. Well, how do you, you don't get your mail then? Yeah, I no. do. I get it. Oh, yeah. And I'm, oh, you know, I've been there, so I go and I get it and then I come back and I go and I get it and come back. Well, but okay. People know to, to mail to you though, because I have your ma your address from that you are living now. I don't live but, there. That's a whole. Lot, that's another address. Well, <laughs> where you, where's that going? To another address. Okay, but you're getting your. You do get it eventually. Your mail. Yeah, but I still never found your check. <gasps> you didn't find. Okay. Oh, okay. I get it. All right, so I will have to send you another one. Send it to California. I'll give you the California address. Okay, I will. I will send it there. Hi, Adam and Eve. So did she do other people? Did she ever do a sculpture of you? She did not, but she did put stained glass um, painting, or one of her stained glass creations. Really? Like in a church? Are you in a church? I'm not in a church, darn it, no. Um, <laughs> no, it would be nice. I'd like to be Saint Lynette. Right, Saint Lynette. There is, <laughs> there could, is there a Saint Lynette? No, I don't believe so. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. The rain, the rain saint. The maker yeah. of rain. Wow, that would be true. Well, I'd have to have Catherine there with me because she's, it only works when Catherine's there, the rain when we do it together. So, to have to have Catherine and I would be Sister Saint. So you got me excited about something the other day. What? what you said I... you wanted to, to, to do my next cover. Oh my gosh, yes, I'd love to. Now I need to figure out what kind of record to do just so I can have you make the cover. Yeah, you mean designing your album cover? Yeah, I'd love to do that. What are you thinking of? I don't do know. Have, what's in the works? I well, see something colorful. Ahead. Colorful? Oh, yeah. 
Don't you? Well, I really enjoyed this band I played with this last week. Uh huh. With the B three player. And yeah. The, the, oh yeah, they were great. Yeah, I heard. I heard you were with them. They were wonderful together with you. So that could be fun. That really fun. And I could do you all. <laughs> Actually, the photo that I did of all of us, I posted on Instagram today. It's really funny. It's um. Let me see if I can bring it up really fast here. It's, I'll show it to you. Oh, the guys are all in masks. We're all in our masks. <laughs> Except Tom, because he had just gone to the car and was, we, we were leaving. He had started the car up and then all of a sudden I'm like, we need a photo. So he ran back out, and I'm like, where's your mask? I go, put your cover. I go, like, see no evil, hear no evil. Speak no evil. Oh, I love it. Hey, that's a good idea. Oh, that might be. That's a good idea. With the three of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love it. Interesting. Maybe that could be a name of a song. It could be the name of a song. It'd be inspiring to have something. Yeah, that's a good, a very good concept. It is. It is. I like I see, it. I see a new song coming. I need to write it. I, we've been starting to write. Tom and I, like, I'm like, oh, we need to write a song about that. We need to do this. And then, well, and then I'm like, oh, we got to get on this. And we got to do, and I got, I, and then that goes, like, down the road. So. Like you, like you have to make space to write a song. Oh yeah, you do. Just like any, well, any form of art, you have to make the space. You have to do it. You've got to block it in. You've got to have. You have to have your creative place to do it too. Um, yeah, it it always helps. I mean, I've been reading a little bit about different writers. You know, like Joni Mitchell. What an interesting. I mean, did you read her book? I did not read her book. No, no, but I would really be interested in reading that book. It's, she has autobiography. Mm -hmm. It came out the about a few months before her birthday, before her seventy fifth birthday. So it's just recent. Yeah, in the last two years. How is she doing now? Because I know she had, she had a stroke, didn't she? She had Meniere's disease and a couple other things going on. I but saw her at her birthday, and she was kind of. Like a little bit in a wheelchair, but now she's not. That's great. That's really great. Yeah. What a lady she is. Oh. Uh, and you know, you know the record Court and Spark, right? I don't know that. That's I do. the record that helped me. I think I'm falling. Uh, she was 34 years old when she did that record. Wow. I love. I love that. That song. Well, I love the song that you that you recorded with the Charmers, um, the one about... Free Man in Paris. Yeah. Yes, Free Man in Paris. I love that. Isn't that a great record? It's a great record. I mean, an outstanding record, actually. It's really a great record. I'm really... I li listen and listen to it over and over. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's stellar. Thank you. I think they're they are stellar musicians and stellar beings, and we have a really good time together. And I, you know, we we keep talking about yeah, when we can, where we, when are we gonna, when are we gonna, and it'll happen. They were actually going to be the band to be on tour with me on this this last the Scully tour that I just finished, but they couldn't fly here. Oh, it's the COVID. Yeah. How did you how did you meet them? Well, Andre Bush and I the and I was in a, a working musical relationship with for twenty plus years. Mm -hmm. We were in a we had our duo, and he used to tell me all the time about this this drummer Jeremy Steinkohler. And I kind of met him, but we never played together because I don't really I don't play with a lot of drummers. I play with percussionists, but not too many drummers. Mm -hmm. And then. Um, at, then Andre died, 
and I was putting together this um, an honoring, a, a, we did a concert to honor him and played his music at the Freight and Salvage of like two months after he, the day after my birthday actually, <laughs> I had this big birthday and then I'm like, oh, let me just produce a concert the next day. So wow. I had a concert and um, Jeremy was going to play, but then he couldn't. And then, but we talked. And then a couple months later, he said, you know, I've always wanted to be in a band with you. Do you want to start a band? And I thought, wow, yeah, sure. So what are some of your, we came together, 10 songs he loved, 10 songs I loved. Some of them, I, he, you know, I'd say, Mm, no, and I go, wow, I don't know this song. And he'd go, oh, yeah, and I'm, wow, oh, yeah. So we we picked songs that we wanted to just not do anything with, not have a band, I mean, not make a record, just a band to just play music and explore different songs that we liked. Uh -huh. So we did that, and we had this really great band, and then the guitar player moved, and then the bass player moved, no, the bass player and his wife did some. They they left for a while, and then we had another bass player, and then I brought this guitar player in, Steve Bissinger, that I used to play with twenty years before, because wow. he had a, a very similar tone to Andre, and uh -huh. and I knew that he would. I need to get him on the show. I knew that he would fit what we were looking for. And then we just started playing more and more and decided to make the record, and then we did. A great record. I mean, uh, it's amazing that there are artists such as yourself who make such phenomenal records that, to me, are right in the level of, I mean, people that are musicians that are so well, I mean, like nationally known for years and years and years, you know. And that that record is is top. I mean, it's thank you. Thank you. I'm really proud of it, and they are too. And they they've even said it. They're like they've both recorded a lot, and they're like this is the best mm -hmm. thing I've ever worked on. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So everywhere it's, we would go, it would be a record release party. Uh huh. What a great time. Yeah, I love every every one of those songs. I mean, the the Sting song. I just I remember when I got that album years and when it was really the Field of Gold album. Mm -hmm. I used to listen to that over and over. That was another one that I would listen over and over. It's like a great that. record, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah, great. But but yours is right in that league. Oh, you're right sweet. Level. Thank you, Lynette. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So next week when we do Corona Roki, you'll be here? I plan on it. I'll practice again. <laughs> Maybe I can even get this this one thing and, and get it all the way through and not have a mistake. Wouldn't that be great? You know, I think it's incredible that you accompany yourself. Well, it's been, you know what's been great about you having this is that it's made me get back into trying it again, you know. So this has been good, and and I really enjoy all the people that you have, every one of them. Isn't Deli it, Delilah, isn't she just unbelievable? Yeah. Um, uh, what's the lady's name? The artist that I Phyllis. 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 Your cousin. Armando Your cousin. Ortega. He was supposed to be here tonight, but I don't know if he's going to make it or not. Yeah. All of them. Are, are just gems. Yeah, there's a lot of there's well, there's so many talented people in the world, right? And well, and I'm all about just connecting people and making it work. Communi well, community community and connection. Yeah, there there's some great people, and you know a lot of really fascinating people. I know, Lynette. I think you're fascinating. I really do. Well, oh, I think you're incredible. Yeah, well, the same to you. My Thank goodness. You. Thank you. So let's talk furniture for a minute. I'm curious. Uh-huh. <sighs> like when there's a Labor Day sale, is it really a great, is it a great sale? Not necessarily. 
necessarily. I didn't think so. No. <laughs> and when there's a mattress sale, mattress sale, Labor Day, is there a mattress you like over others? I I know what's a good mattress and what's not. What's a good one. mattress? Well, where I work now, we, we carry a line called Restonic. And mm. it's, a, I, it's two-sided. So a person could have literally... Um, if they needed to years later after a bed starts to kind of everything has a little compression after a time everything sure you can turn it so really yeah so like flip it over you can flip it over yeah if you have somebody else with you to help because it's a heavy bed so it's not a, a memory foam bed no I wouldn't want a memory foam bed no mm -mm. why not no, I had one, and I, it was awful. It was hot. Mm -hmm. it, it lost its memory. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want one. You can have it. I mean, no, no memory phone for me. Restonic. Are yeah. they are, are they like up in the Duxiana type price? Oh no, I actually we don't carry where I work. We don't carry anything in that high price level league. Um. I, I think bedding, you just need a good bed that actually has decent support, a good support. But see, beds are so hard to find. To, you go, is this one? Is this the one? Is this the one? Is this the one? I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah, this is perfect. Then you get it all and you're like, oh, my God, what was I thinking? This is a horrible bed. Well, they look alike. You know, that's the, the thing that's crazy about it. You can't really tell from looking at it. So you really have to depend on the person who is helping you to really kind of give you an education on what it, what the different ones are. And where, where I work, I, I have a definite favorite bed that I would want myself if I were buying a new one. I don't need a new one right now. I bought mine. Um, it'll, I'll probably need one in another few years, but I don't need a new one now. Do you have a Restonic at home? I do not. I, um, I have a bed that is all green it was a it was like it was all organic bed you know mm -hmm. organic bed and I really like that bed it's not two-sided um it's fine for me I mean I think there are people out there who really need a heavy-duty bed because they are overweight I mean and big you know I'm not saying that I'm a perfect weight but I'm not oh, like where there's some people that are really need heavy. a sturdy bed mm -hmm. Yeah, they need a sturdy bed, and they, they need something that's going to be like a brick, <laughs> almost. Yeah, so, I just need a bed that that's perfect. Yeah, you need a perfect bed? I need a perfect bed. I don't know that there is a totally perfect... Well, if there's a... I mean, I think that Rastonic is a good good line. I really do. I, I'm i kind of a snob about things like pillows. And oh, me too. What kind of pillow do you use? I have a down, a goose down pillow. I have, like, all my pillows are goose down. I love a nice pillow. I've tried so many different pillows. I have neck stuff. Uh-huh. So I'm always, like, like, I bought a pillow that has a little cutout, and I have a pillow that does, they don't work. Did that work for you? No. The cutout thing? Because I, yeah, I tried that a long time ago, and I was like, no, this isn't going to work. No. I like my down pillow that I can scrunch into just the right position, and it's just like, oh, it's heaven. I love it. <laughs> I do like my silk pillowcase. Oh, yeah, those are nice. I had to have a silk pillowcase, and that makes a difference. They're supposed to be really good for your um, your skin, too. For your skin. Mm. Well, that's what my between my, my style and my my serum... And my silk pillow. Yeah, you're all set. And that's why your skin always looks so glowy. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. It it's makes it oh. It's just, yeah, I just, I like it because it's cool. I cool. bought a pillow that was a cool pillow. It wasn't cool. Uh-huh. You mean like cool temperature-wise mm -hmm. cool? Mm-hmm. Uh, we don't like hot mm -hmm. on our head. Mm -mm. I don't even like hot, like... Um, yeah, I don't want to get hot when I'm sleeping. I like to stay cozy and just right. See, like the perfect bed. 
It's perfect. That's it. Yeah. You know, it's all we ask for. It's perfect. So <laughs> what's it like in the furniture store? Are people socially distanced and physically distanced? And no, they're not, are they? No. It's very difficult to... Um, that's the one thing that I, you know, you try, but but it's impossible when you're working with people to, if you're having to show catalogs and books and, you know, different things to help them, it's impossible to totally distance like that for me. Have you said for them to try the restonic bed because it's the bomb shit yet? Has that, been, has that happened at time, any time yet? It's almost looked out a couple times, but I... bomb! <laughs> so cool. It's such a great bed. The bomb shit. Yeah, I will do it. I swear. There's going to be the right person, and I'm going to say it. Uh-oh, my battery is starting to... All right. Well, Lynette, yeah. thank you very much. I, I do want to come in and visit you at work, so I need to get your work schedule and... Um, and I look forward to hanging out with you, and we will do some baking. Or we'll, we'll. I really do want to want to see you sometime soon. So, let's make it happen. If there's a way that I can get out early on Saturday, I, I will get there. Okay. If because I do want to perform. We're live. only doing one set. We're doing a six o'clock one hour set. Okay, well, I def have to definitely get out early. Get out early. Uh -huh. <laughs> COVID. <laughs> Life is too short. But I do know some people now who have kind of, who've gotten COVID. Yeah, I know. You know, it's it's definitely real. It's like oh, it's so real. And William, um, not not COVID related. Will William showed us uh, the other day. He was on, and we saw that tree house. Have you been to this tree house that William knows about that we can no. do a concert at? A tree house? What, what is it? Ask Bill? about it somewhere, Bill. Where's the tree house at? What, is it what? like a house? It's a I beautiful, mean, there's a, like a family, Swiss family Robinson kind of vibe. Oh my gosh. How cool is that? Near him, near, near you. Really? Yeah. That's somebody's living in, you mean? I think they live there, and they they would like to have a house concert there. Oh my gosh! How cool! Yeah, that would be really. Oh, that would be great. But yeah. we need to do it before it rains or it gets cold. And that's the other thing. I I've been doing more Zoom concert ideas, and then also um, larger spaced, so people can be physically distanced concerts. So different different kinds of places, like, oh, she doesn't know. She you don't know about it. He'll tell you about it. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, is Bill? Did Bill just say something? Mm -hmm. He's here. Yeah. Bill's here. Julie's here. Um, Hi. Melanie was here earlier. My friend Linda was here. I'm not sure that it says there are five people on, but I don't know who the other three are. So, hi everybody. Lynette Baber, everyone. Round of applause. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jennifer, for having me. And have a wonderful day tomorrow, and maybe we'll see you on Saturday. Okay. All yes, right. you. I would love that. Okay. Lynette. All right. See you. Well, you have a nice evening. Me too. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Bye. Good night. I love her. She's so cool. And I can't hang up because I just. Like or something. Something's not cooperating on my phone. Here's my little Josephine. Oh, kitty. Josephine. Pretty earrings. Yeah. Oh, thanks. I like yours too. Oh, thanks. I bought yeah. them at the at the art fair. I like. Them. I do too. I'm. It's not. Something's not like I'm sitting here trying. Look at everyone. I'm trying to turn this off, and it's not. Oh no! This is because of the new thing. What's going on? I don't know. Facebook's being whack. This is FaceTime, though. Uh huh. I don't know. I guess okay. you'll have to hang up. Okay. Well. One, two, three. Okay. Bye, Jenna. Bye. I, I, I don't know. Now it says we're paused, and it won't even let me get rid of it. I can get look at. I can get rid of all this other stuff. But I can't 
hang it up. So let's talk about the net. No, I'm just kidding. Um, let me see if I just can turn off my, I can't turn off my iPad. Oh, yes I can. Gosh, kids, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Let's talk about that um, tree house soon before it gets too chilled. Tomorrow morning, I was hoping he was going to pop on tonight, but I think it's a little bit, I think he's busy. Armando was going to come on, but he'll be here in the morning. Armando, my name is Armando Ortega. We'll be here tomorrow morning, and then tomorrow night, Dr. Brad will be here, and then Saturday morning, one more Saturday morning with Jeff Metzger, one more Saturday night with Gary Lambert, and Sunday night, I think Lou's going to be here. So, thank you, Julie. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Lynette, and everyone else who's here. Have a beautiful night. Dear words, darling, oh, I'm sorry, dear thoughts, darling words, and a dutiful heart, and a big hug. Oh, Armand is a blast. I know. I thought he was maybe going to get here tonight, but he's not. Okay, you guys have a beautiful night. I love you, Mama. Thank you. Love hard.